Bob, do you just want to kind of comment on today's game? Like, what went well? What you guys did go well? Kind of overall reaction to the game? Yeah, so today we played, uh, we started off with uh, Southwest Minnesota State, um, and we played very well against them. We, we came out and we shot uh, very well. I think we finished shooting 65% in the first half, which is, uh, it's exceptional. Um, then in the second half, you know, we were up, we were up real big, uh, so we kind of took the foot off the gas a little bit. Um, and in, in the second game, we got uh, Edinburgh University uh, from Pennsylvania, um, and we played them a couple weeks ago up in Wisconsin, um, and they surprised us because usually they're kind of a team that's uh, on the lower side of the collegiate division. Um, but uh, they came out, and they have a couple good shooters and a couple good bigs, uh, so they really surprised us a couple weeks ago. Uh, and so we knew that they weren't a joke anymore. Uh, so we came out. Uh, we've been preparing in practice the past couple weeks uh, for them, uh, kind of blocking out their shooters and keeping their bigs out of the lane. Um, and we came out firing on all cylinders. We came out in the press, um, and we did really well to just stop their offense and break down their defense. Uh, and then, uh, you want to talk about like, what your position is on the team and like what kind of responsibilities you have? Yeah, so I'm a freshman here. Uh, I played junior wheelchair basketball uh, from fifth grade to when I was a senior in high school. Uh, and Coach Likens here at the University of Missouri recruited me, um, not really as a player, but onto the staff, kind of as um, a person he can mold um, into like an assistant coach as I progress through uh, my time here at Mizzou. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm working with a film. Um, so there's a program called Dartfish. Uh, which is a video analysis program that basically takes our game film and we can break it down and use a variety of tools um, to uh, dissect the game. Um, you can break it down into folders, so if, if number 30 on the other team has uh, 10 makes against you throughout the game, then you can break it down and you can uh, open the folder and only look at his makes. So. Uh, yeah, for a long time that was my dream job. That's what I wanted to do. Um, I, I kind of came to grasp that playing wasn't wasn't for me, just based on my physical disability. Um, and I, I transitioned um, in my junior program. I started helping the little kids a lot more. Uh, and then I came here. And so obviously, uh, Coach Likens is the USA wheelchair basketball coach. So he's one of the best coaches in the world. So I came to the, the right university to learn, um, certainly, Learn how to coach. Um, so like, what, are the, like, what are the requirements and the regular things you guys have to do? For you personally, like, what are your responsibilities throughout the regular, like, a regular week, and then also for, like, if you're a player on the team as well? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so I'll just break down the player schedule because our schedule is kind of mix or uh, mix and match. But uh, players have to wake up uh, at about 4:30 um, or 4, 4, 4, 30. We have practice at 5.30, so usually they get, um, they get here around 5 o'clock, uh, warm up. Um, practice starts at 5.30. Uh, practice varies from anything from conditioning, which is like suicides, just like able body basketball, to um, like team concepts, team defense um, in the half court, in the, in the full court. Um, and uh, then each week they'll have individual workouts of lifting and shooting um, and that I mean their lifting program is pretty similar I mean I think their lifting program is designed by a USA weightlifting coach out in Colorado um, and so my schedule is I'll be at practice every day and usually what I'll do is I'll uh, work on my like the video part of uh, the program um, and then if they if they come in to shoot, I'll come help them shoot, help them uh, lift, that kind of thing. Um, I think my favorite part is uh, I got a lot of really good friends um, on the team. Like me and another freshman, Tyler, we came up. Well, I mean, we like kind of shared our college experience together, and we will for the next five years. Um, and I've known Tyler, we roomed together at a basketball camp in Wisconsin, I want to say three or four years ago. Um, and so we had been playing against each other all through high school and so we had developed this friendship, uh, like a very long friendship that most people don't have going into college. Um, 
and I've known a lot of the guys just because I've been uh, every summer Mizzou has a wheelchair basketball camp that's like a three or four day overnight just like any able-bodied basketball camp um, that is like nine ten hours a day of just constant basketball and so I like a lot of the people uh, that are on the team now I either went to camp with when we were both super young um, or they were my counselors while I was here and so um, it, was, it was a really easy transition to come to school here because um, I already had like 12 guys that I knew and were my friends so Um, I think right now, like I'll do the video breakdown, uh, and then as I progress, um, like as I do the video breakdown, I'll be able to look at the video and see, like, hey, this is wrong, this is right, um, and that will directly translate to me learning how to coach. Um, and then as I as I learn the game, not only through the video program, but through practice or through games and through talking with Coach Likens and Scott, the assistant, um, I'll definitely learn the game a lot better than I already know it right now. Yeah, so basically like the big difference between able body basketball and wheelchair basketball is you can look at the muscle groups. Um, so I was just talking to a friend last night and he was like, you know, it's like really hard because in able body basketball, the majority of your like three-point sh shooting, for example, is the power and the balance is generated from your legs. So when you can't use your legs, it's it's definitely different. Um, it's definitely a different muscle group uh, for a lot of the things you do. So basketball is a combination. Able body basketball is a combination of running um, and then whatever you do with your arms, dribbling, passing, shooting. Um, so you have a an equal bounce uh, for your body, but in wheelchair basketball, some of the guys um, with like lower level function, so if they're paralyzed from the chest down, are using like their arms and only their arms. Um, so it's definitely, they definitely have to uh, figure out how to balance, balance themselves and train themselves to get to a point where they can do that without, without a problem. Um, I think um, people with disabilities, like just the way they're viewed, is kind of has a weird stigma, and um, I think that translated to wheelchair basketball. Um, and I think you guys can sort of attest to this um, that, like, hey, maybe it's just going to be like kind of a participation sport, like it's not going to be intense. And then you get here, and like there's crashing and banging, which isn't really supposed to be allowed because that's like choppy play or whatever. But it's definitely like a serious. Sport.